So far we have imported points and create a surface. After that we added a surface boundary. Then we added break lines to a surface to the surface and made the surface more realistic. And so far we have done with this surface. We have completed everything with the surface. But when you are working with the surface, if you see all these point data and break lines in your drawing, it will be a burden to work forward from that drawing because you will see all the these all these things inside the drawing and you can't properly work. So in that case, what we are doing is we are exporting this surface something called land XML or some other version and make the surface more user friendly so that we can work without uh, much of a trouble of the data inside the surface. So first part we are going to export this surface into a land XML version that is kind of a land XML is kind of a uh, file type which we use globally to transfer data. So this drawing file would be the drawing file which contains the surface would be uh, transferred to a file type called land XML where other civil 3D users can use the surface without seeing these point details and break lines and boundaries all those things in the land xml version what you have is the final surface only we have it will not have the point data and all that so that is kind of if you remember a uh, slab of a building when you are building the slab you have all the foam works and all the jets and all these other things we are using to form this slab but after forming the slab we will be removing all those things so by land xml also we are doing that kind of thing we are removing all the unwanted parts of the surface and we are retaining only the needed parts inside the surface to work with the surface more easy and convenient manner so to do to export the surface into a land xml version you go here to prospector surfaces then you go to eg where your surface lies you right click here then go to export land xml after that you will be seeing a check mark here surface and eg then click ok then you can go to the existing folder outside then to type the name mass eg because your existing ground surface is there and your file type will be land xml then click save so your uh, surface would be now exported as a uh, land xml surface so so far what we have done is imported point importing points we add the surface at the boundaries for the surface and break lines to the surface and finally we exported the surface so now we are going to close everything and from the next point onwards we are importing the exported land xml surface that means we are we took the surface out of the drawing then in the next video we will take it into the drawing actually it is it will be into a new drawing not this current drawing so after exporting this i want you to i want you all to close this drawing by saving it